Hi everyone, I'm Amber from Rover.com and today I'm going to show you a really easy way to measure your dog for a coat or jacket or t-shirt if it happens to be in the summer. The first thing you'll notice when you're looking for clothing for your dog is that sizing is all over the place. If you are looking um, on Amazon versus a boutique company that might make their own clothing for dogs of all sizes, you'll see that a size small for one company might be a large for another. So some companies are just made for small dog clothes. So you really want to pay attention to the sizing guide and the ranges that they put in for your dog. So what you'll commonly see in a chart is gonna ask you for chest or girth, the length and the neck. So those are three important measurements that you'll wanna get right um, for your dog. Now I have a dog, a Boston Terrier, um, which is similar to a boxer or a bulldog that have a little bit more of a barrel chest. So keep in mind if you have a dog like that, it's always good to maybe go up one size so it's not too tight around the chest. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna measure is the neck. So a handy tool to have is one of these measuring tapes that's commonly used for sewing. Um, if you don't have one of these, a simple solution would be to maybe use like a string or something and then lay it out flat next to a ruler if you have one of those. So like a, or a yardstick, that works just as well. These um, just work better for doing it fast because you can just measure on the spot. So for the neck, um, it's honestly gonna be the same size really as the collar length. So you can take the collar off, measure that, or you can just take your measuring tape, wrap it around right here on the neck, and it looks like Olive is about 12 inches with just a little bit of room. So the next thing that we're gonna measure is the chest. So it's important, um, especially for Olive or a dog with larger chests, you wanna measure the area that's the the widest. Oops. Olive, where are you going? Come on around. Good girl. Okay, so I'm gonna measure right here because this is where her chest is the widest. So we're going to wrap it around all the way here. And it looks like that's about 18 inches. I like to round up just because I like to have her um, sweatshirts to have just a little bit of room and it makes them easier to put on. So the one I find most confusing is length. Um, especially with a dog that doesn't have a tail. So they'll usually tell you to measure from the collar to the base of the tail. So I kind of just say like, where would I want the sweater or sweatshirt to end? And that's where I measure tail. So just starting at the collar all the way down here, it looks like it's about 13 inches. That's what I would mark down for that one. So once you have those three measurements, it's really easy to plug them in. Usually you'll see a grid on the item description. It'll have the sizing chart. And you'll wanna take the three measurements and see which is the best size option for your dog. If it's running on the smaller side, it's always good to consider the next size up, um, especially if you have a dog with a wider chest. And those are gonna be a little bit roomier and easier to put on. And now that we have all of those measurements, we're gonna show you how to put on a sweatshirt that is just her size. All right. So, for her, I always find over the head is the first place to start. Once we've got that, I like to do one arm at a time. Sometimes they can get a little stuck, so we just put that one in first. Second one here. All right, we've got that on. Give her a little adjustment so she looks her best. Pull these drawstrings. That's it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. We make these videos just for you and we will see y'all next time.